morning, Bennett's or Bobcats. Th this is Allie with the Bobcat Blaze News. Today is Friday, April 17, 2020. Now to Ryder with our Friday Funny. What does a bunny like to dance to? What? Hip hop. Get it? Hip hop? <laughs> <laughs> now to Miss Swanson for Thumbs Up Math Trivia. Welcome to Thumbs Up Math Trivia. We'll start with the world for 200. To perform a mathematical operation based on taking away or comparing how much more. Are you ready? Subtract or subtraction is correct. Look for those words, how much more or taking away in those word problems. The world for 300. This one's for our older students. A number greater than one written as a whole number and a fraction less than one. Are you ready? Mixed number is correct. We have a whole number and a fraction as you can see by the model. Have a groovy week. Bye. Hi Bobcats, this is Blake with the weather. Today will be chilly with a chance of rain. Tomorrow's high will be around 51 degrees and cloudy with a chance of showers. And Sunday will be warmer and cloudy with a higher chance of rain. I hope everyone has a, has a great weekend. Now to Dean with birthdays. We would like to give a special happy birthday to everyone that had a birthday so far this April. Happy birthday to Madeline, Finn, Gabriella, Samantha, Mason, Ethan, Deegan, Kinley, Lacey, Lindsay, Aiden, Isabella, Gloriana, Derek, Daniel, Arden, and Miss McMenamin. Also, happy birthday to Deegan and Miss Lil, who have birthdays this weekend. Now to Mrs. Gelati to talk about mindfulness. Hi, Ben, Mr. Bobcats. Mrs. Gelati here with a little bit more information about mindfulness. Being mindful means that you're in the present moment. You're not in the past and you're not in the future. One way to help yourself be in the present moment is to take deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Try doing this at least three times. I'm going to share with you this week on Seesaw two of my favorite videos about being in the present moment. The first one is Puppy Mind and the second one is What is the Present Moment? Being in the present moment can help you relax. It can also help you manage your feelings. It can also help your mind make more room so that you're able to concentrate and learn the things that you need to do. So if you're having problems concentrating on getting your schoolwork done, try taking three deep breaths. Remember that April's theme of the month is initiative. So try to make the choice this week to show initiative. And if you see a job that needs to get done, just do it. I hope you all are well and I'll see you next week. We know that taking initiative is when we see something that needs to be done and we do it without even being asked. Taking initiative can also be if we have a new classmate or a new neighbor move in if we go over to them and we welcome them and say hello, that could be taking initiative. Or taking initiative could also be if we stand up for somebody that needs help. Check out this video and see how this boy shows initiative. A couple days ago, I was out shooting some hoops in the driveway. Like clockwork, I shot an air ball. Hey, just because I like playing basketball doesn't mean I'm any good at it. Anyway, when I went to go get the ball, I looked down the street and saw that the house that had been for sale had people moving into it. It looked like they had a guy my age moving in. Now, I'm not a shy guy normally, but it's always kind of weird to walk up to somebody you don't know and introduce yourself. So I really didn't take the initiative to get to know the new guy. Hope he didn't see me. I kind of felt bad about it. I mean... I'm sure it's hard being the new kid in the neighborhood, but I figured I'd probably see him around some other time. Well, today, Monday rolled around, and as usual, he 
all gathered at the end of my driveway for the bus to come get us. I looked up the road and saw that the new guy was sitting on his front steps next to his door. I guess he felt weird about hanging out with new people. After all, he is the new kid. Everyone said they should tell him where the bus stop is, but nobody really did anything about it. He looked really lonely. I decided I would go help him out, so I went over to him and said hello. At first, he was a little nervous. Honestly, so was I, but then I think he knew I was trying to help him out. So, he followed me back down to the other stop. He seemed pretty relieved to finally meet some new people. He was a pretty cool guy. Oh, and by the way, his name was Austin. I ended up riding to school with him and showing around the school as well. I think he appreciated it. He's actually coming over to shoot some basketball in just a minute. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you about that. It felt good to see somebody who needed some help and taking the initiative to do it. I think that's him. Gotta go. Talk to you soon. Now here are Agatha and Carly from the Clubhouse Kids sharing how they showed initiative by standing up for others. Hey Bobcats, Agatha here. I'm here today to share with you a time when I was able to show someone in my family how much I cared about them. And I did it by standing up for them because I'm always working on my takes pride behavior. So if I remember correctly, Hey guys, how are you? Good. You guys uh, all ready with the stuff from your teachers? You know what you're doing? Yeah, you got all your assignments? Yeah. 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 Okay, great guys. Super easy. I'm proud of you. Do a good job. Work hard. Thanks, okay? Dad. Appreciate it. Really proud. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So, you guys really think this whole online schooling is easy? I mean, wait, what? You're on page 10 and you're on page 11 and... Guys, I'm only on page 3. How are you guys understanding this without the help of our teachers? Are you dumb? Oh, Grant, we don't say that. Well, I mean, it's We pretty build easy. each other up. It's pretty easy to just, like, you know, read. Well, Erica, just because you think it's easy, because for you, reading and chemistry is really easy. But I have to admit, I'm not good at chemistry. And, and Grant, you're really good at bowling. And because you're good at bowling, you build all these great muscles. But not everybody's good at bowling. Right? What am I good at? Oh, my goodness. I love the way that you can write. I know you're working on math right now. Yeah. And math is hard. It's really but, hard. But you're really great at writing. So it'll just take you a little bit of time to learn. You think? I know so. So Erica and Graham, I hope you learn something. What do you want to say to Erica? Avery, right? I'm sorry, Avery. Thank you. I'm sorry, Avery. Thanks. Now, do you guys mind helping with my homework because you guys understand yours so much? Yeah, Grant's really great at math, so he can definitely... You are great at math? Wow. I'll help you, Avery. Thanks, Grant. <laughs> Good job, guys. All right. So that's how I was able to care for Avery when she needed someone to stand up for her. See if you can do the same. Good job. I know, right? Okay, Poppy, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, everybody. I was just FaceTiming with my friend Poppy, and she told me that our Takes Pride theme of the month for April is initiative. Not going to lie, I kind of didn't know what that big word meant. So she told me that one of the ways that we can show initiative is by standing up for others to show that we care. And I thought back to my time on the soccer field, and I feel like I can do that a lot because if someone's not being included, I can stand up for them. That way I know that I care about them. Now that I've been at home a lot though, I was trying to think of a way that I could show initiative at home. And I thought back to the other day, it was raining outside, we were trapped in our house for hours and I was playing with my older brother and my younger sister and we weren't getting along. And my older brother was being really mean to my younger sister. And I just sat there, I didn't do anything. I realized that if I would have shown initiative, I would have stood up for my sister to show that I care. So next time that happens, because let's be honest, it's going to happen again, I'm going to make sure that I stand up for my sister so she knows that I care about her and because it's the right thing to do. So I'm passing the ball to you. I can't wait to hear how you show initiative at home. Bye. Here are some students sharing how they show initiative. Hi, I'm Adeline, and I show initiative by doing chores before my parents ask me to. I show initiative by doing extra study island at home. How do you guys show initiative? Oh wow, what a mess. I'm going to clean this up for them. I know we're 
she likes her scrunchies, so I'm going to put these over here. And I'm going to put her pencils and her pens in her desk. And I'm going to flatten out these papers here. Thanks, Adeline, for showing initiative. You're welcome, Bella. So what I do is, without my mom telling me, one of my chores is to feed my cat. And this is her food. Bye. I also throw recycling bowls out like this. Another one of my chores is to make my bed like this. Without my mom telling me. Bye. Oh, hi. So how I show initiative is I make my bed without being told. Hi, this is Evan and Brandon. And we're going to show initiative by putting our toys away without being asked. Here we go. Hi Bobcats, it's Miss McGovern. I am here with a shout out for this month's Takes Pride theme of initiative. I want to give a big shout out to Taylor, Connor, Lachlan, Cole, Avery, Gianna, Eli, Sailor, JD, Carter, Ava, Mateos, Mason, Hunter, Alexis, Vince, James, Kai, Alexis, Quinn, Madeline, Avni, Tabby, Amelia, and Lena, aka all the kids in my third grade class, because they have been doing such a great job and showing so much initiative on their online assignments. Every day when I log into Seesaw, I am blown away by the amount of posts that they made and also the amount of effort that they're putting into everything that they're doing. So awesome job, guys. I'm proud of you and keep up the hard work. Bye. Hi, I'd like to give a shout out to three students from my class that have been doing a phenomenal job reading on Epic. They are Grant, Sadie, and Claire. These three students are reading multiple books, they're taking their time, and they are going on almost daily. Keep it up, guys. Great job. I would like to give a shout out to the Hutton family for taking such great care of the teachers and the community by making masks with their family um, to keep everybody safe. things up next week we will be having a spirit week here's what the spirit days will be each day it will be posted on seesaw too so monday show off your favorite team by wearing a team shirt or jersey and post it on flipgrid have fun april is poetry month now here's some students sharing poems. Hi, I'm going to be reading a poem from The Light in the Attic by Shel Silverstein. Adventures of a Frisbee. The Frisbee, he got tired of sailing to and fro and to, <clears throat> and thought of other things he might like to do. So next time they threw him, he turned there in the sky and sailed away to try to find some new things he could try. He tried to be an eyeglass, but no one could see through him. He tried to be a UFO, but everybody knew him. He tried to be a dinner plate, but he got cracked and quit. He tried to be a pizza, but got tossed, baked, and bit. He tried to be a hub, hubcap, but all the cars moved too quick. He tried to be a record, but the spinning made him sick. He tried to be a quarter, but he was too big to spend. So he rolled on. So he rolled home and was quite glad to be a frisbee once again. I'm gonna read a poem from *The Light in the Attic* by Shel Silverstein. 
how to not have to dry the dishes. If you have to dry the dishes, such an awful butcher. If you have to dry the dishes instead of going to the store. If you have to dry the dishes and you drop one on the floor, maybe they won't let you dry the dishes anymore. Bobcats believe in ourselves. We don't give up and we always do our best. Remember, Bobcats, be the reason someone smiles today.